Hi, uh, this video tutorial I will cover uh, chain of responsibility design pattern implementation. Before you watch this video tutorial, please log into my channel and watch uh, chain of responsibility design pattern introduction, chain of responsibility design pattern class diagram and sequence diagram video tutorials. Then come and watch this tutorial so that you will understand uh, this implementation tutorial very clearly. Okay, so here you can see developer uh, he is reporting to team leader and uh, team leader who is reporting to project leader and project leader who is reporting to HR okay and team leader can approve uh, 10 days leave and project leader can approve uh, 20 days leave and HR can approve 30 days leave okay suppose a developer wants to take uh, some 25 days leave so what developer will do is he will uh, send request to the team leader so the leave request is for 25 days right so team leader can't approve the request uh, so what uh, team leader will do is he will send that uh, leave request to the project leader so project leader will uh, check whether uh, project leader can approve 25 days uh, leave or not so as per uh, rule company rule uh, the project leader can uh, approve only 20 days leave so he can't approve uh, 25 days leave so what project leader will do is he will send that uh, leave request to the HR so HR will see whether uh, HR can approve uh, 30 days leave so as per company rule uh, HR can approve uh, up to 30 days leave so request came for only 25 days leave so HR will just approve okay so this is kind of a chain of uh, responsibility right so to implement this one uh, I have created a below below class diagram okay so here you can see employee uh, which is abstract class and it has uh, apply leave method here you have to pass employee name and the number of uh, days leave okay so this abstract method okay so this uh, this employee abstract class is extended by team leader project leader and HR so this apply leave is the abstract method so this apply leave will be implemented by uh, subclasses like uh, team leader and project leader and HR okay and uh, it has uh, one method called uh, set next supervisor um, so in this case team leader supervisor is project leader and project leader supervisor is HR right so if you want to set uh, for team leader who is the supervisor and project leader who is the supervisor using this method you can achieve using this set next supervisor method you can achieve okay and a chain pattern uh, demo this uh, um, sample uh, code okay so it has uh, main method to explain this uh, uh, chain of responsibility design button I have created this one okay and here you can see team leader can approve only 10 days uh, leave and project leader can approve up to 20 days leave and uh, HR can approve uh, up to 30 days leave so that kind of information is here right and this is a class diagram I will open the code and uh, explain the clearly so you can see employee abstract class team leader project leader and HR I will open in Eclipse and I will explain to you so here employee is abstract class and uh, it has abstract method called apply leave here you have to pass the employee name and number of uh, days leave and uh, this method is used to uh, set up the next uh, supervisor uh, in case of uh, team leader project leader is a supervisor in case of project leader HR is a supervisor right so to set up uh, that supervisor you can use this method and uh, next I will open team leader dot Java so team leader can approve up to 10 days right that is here and it has uh, apply leave method so this apply leave method uh, you have seen in the employee abstract class right so this apply leave method right so this uh, apply leave method implementation is provided by uh, team leader so here what we are doing is we are checking number of days leave less than uh, maximum leaves can approve if it is less then approve the leave so it will just print uh, team leader approved uh, this many days uh, leave to the particular employee if it cannot uh, 
process the leave request then it will send you to the next uh, level employee so for team leader next level employee is a uh, project leader right so it will send uh, that leave request to the project leader that's what here else part it has so same like uh, project leader so only difference is he can approve 20 days and apply leave uh, method is uh, implemented by this project leader class so here it will check uh, maximum leave uh, which can approve so here 20 right so if it is request is 20 or below then it will uh, uh, this project leader will approve the re leave request if it is not uh, 20 days then uh, the leave request will pass to the next uh, supervisor uh, so in this case uh, for project leader next supervisor is HR and I will open hr.java so same thing right so max leaves can approve is 30 days and apply leave method is implemented by hr class if uh, leave request is uh, 30 or uh, less than 30 then hr will approve the request uh, else uh, if it is come more than uh, the, the leave request is coming more than uh, 30 days then uh, it will just print like this the application is suspended please contact HR okay I will open a uh, chain pattern demo so here uh, you can see team leader uh, object I created like that project leader object I created and HR object also created and team leader next supervisor is uh, project leader right so I have set the supervisor for the project leader next supervisor is uh, HR so that is what setted here so that hierarchy is uh, setted here right and I will open in uh, debug mode and I will show you the code flow so team leader uh, dot apply leave so developer what he is doing is he is applying leave to the team leader um, so the developer name is uh, David and he is requesting uh, nine days leave okay so team leader dot apply leave method will be called we'll go into the apply leave method so request is for nine days maximum leave can approve is 10 so this uh, condition is satisfied right so it will go inside uh, this approved leave and uh, team leader approved a nine days leave for the employee date, right so that is what printed here next uh, uh, next to the developer called John he is requesting 18 days leave okay so the apply leave request will go to the team leader uh, object so here uh, 18 days but max leave with the team leader can approve is 10 right so it won't go into inside this if block so it will go to the next supervisor so for the team leader next supervisor is the project leader right so the request will go to the project leader class so you can see the request uh, goes to the project leader and uh, number of days leave is 18 and uh, project leader can approve uh, 20 days so leave is approved by the project leader So you can see here project leader approved 18 days leave for the employee John then uh, next employee called uh, Steve uh, so he is trying to apply 30 days leave okay so it will uh, the request will go to the team leader so it is 30 days leave right so he team leader can't approve right so it will go to the else part so for the team leader uh, next supervisor is project leader right so the request will go to the project leader so request is for 30 days but uh, project leader can approve only 20 days right so it will go to the next supervisor so in this case next supervisor is HR right so the request will go to the HR we can see HR right so number of uh, days leave is 30 
so hr can approve uh, 30 so you can see uh, hr is approving the leave so hr approved 30 days leave for the employee steve okay then uh, the employee called rohan he is uh, applying leave for uh, 50 days okay so the request goes to the team lead so it is 50 days so team leader cannot approve so it will go to the supervisor which is uh, project leader so project leader also cannot approve because he can approve only 20 days but uh, leave request came for 50 days so it will go to the hr right so it goes to the hr and hr also can approve only 30 days but leave request came for 50 days so it will go to the sales part leave application is suspended and please contact hr okay so this is how the chain of, chain of uh, responsibility design pattern works okay this is the best example of uh, chain of responsibility design pattern and i have put together all this uh, sample code in my blog called ramjet you can uh, visit this uh, site and you can get this sample code and th this is about uh, chain of responsibilities and pattern implementation and uh, thanks for watching bye